on the phone line. Let's get straight uh, to that. We have Mr. Dili Raj who joins us currently. Hi, sir. Thanks so much for joining in uh, this morning. Uh, 100 crores is what you'll have got at around 10%. Uh, That's a refinance amount. Uh, can we look forward to more such uh, refinances? Yeah, certainly. Uh, this is the first tranche mudra has sanctioned to us. Okay. And our understanding is that uh, this is one of the largest tranche uh, sanctioned by mudra to any of the NBFC MFI. So primarily, I think in the recent past, we articulated that uh, you don't need to be a SFB or a bank to avail refinance. I think this is the first transaction which stands, you know, evidence for that, uh, you know, our conviction that even as an NBFC MFI will be able to access refinance. Okay. Um, good morning, Mr. Dili Raj, and congratulations. But could you tell us uh, the pipeline of future refinancing for SKS Microfinance? Uh, Ma'am, as I said that this is the first tranche, Correct. so you know, uh, Mudra was announced by the Honorable Finance Minister in the budget speech. In a matter of hardly three, four months, it was given shape and then they, you know, they have a great management team which has started refinancing, actual refinancing itself. So we certainly look forward to, uh, forward to many more tranches as they, you know, uh, step up their equity and, uh, you know, internal uh, formalities. Okay, uh, Mr. Dili Rajan, could you give us uh, some details? I mean, how much does, uh, Mud what's the capacity of Mudra to actually lend? You all have got around 100 crores. Uh, I think the number is far larger. So, could you tell us what is the total capacity that uh, Mudra has in terms of uh, lending? Yeah, as I said that uh, if we go back to the uh, Honorable Finance Minister's speech, Correct. budget speech, he indicated a 3,000 crores allocation and 20,000 crore allocation. Correct. So one needs to wait for details of how much of that would become capital and how much that would become a corpus. So I don't think there's any issue about the corpus as such. That's a huge sum. Yeah. And uh, when I last looked at their website, they already uh, this, uh, refinanced more than 35,000 crores. So it could be fairly substantial amount, but as a corporate, as a new entity, I think one needs to complete such uh, formalities. I think the a real important focus should be on the interest rate. So if you look at this 10% is much lower than our even marginal cost of borrowing of 11.2% for the last quarter, absolutely substantially lower than the weighted average historical cost of 11.6%. So it does make a huge impact to the cost structure which we would gladly pass on to the members. I think that's the primary focus. Okay, so just some more details. Um, how much will this lower your borrowing costs, uh, this 100 crore of refinancing at 10%? Yeah, per se, this transaction alone could make a difference of 20, 25 uh, basis points to the total cost structure. So as you recall, we have already passed on three reductions to our members, 3.8% in the last one year. Uh, we charge 20.75% as we speak, and that's unquestionably the lowest rate in the MFI sector charged by any MFI player, player in the segment. So we would take a look at the cost structure again post these transactions, and more than happy to pass on the reductions, if any, uh, to our members. But 20 to 25 basis points is how much your weighted average cost of borrowing will come down? Yeah, if it's, see, as I said, if it is 11.6% uh, weighted average cost, hmm. so then that could come down by this, you know, concomitant 11, uh, 25 basis points, somewhere around 11.35. Uh, but I think it will make a huge impact on marginal cost of borrowing. Hmm. Uh, that is at 11.2%. Uh, so if you see a 25 basis points reduction, that will actually come down below, uh, you know, 11%, 10.8, 10.9%. All right. Uh, so then what, what about uh, this 100 crores? Uh, it's only around 5%, I think, of your total book? Of yeah, around 4,000 right. crores? Right. Yeah, or, that, as I said, this is the first tranche. First tranche. All right. And uh, you're expecting, uh, I mean, this could help in terms of credit growth. And which vertical particularly do you expect uh, credit growth to come in from? No, we are solely focused on microfinance. We don't have any other product. Correct. Uh, not, we don't do individual loans, etc. All our joint liability uh, loans. So this would go for a pan-India, you know, uh, uh, deployment. Uh, we are in more than 15 states. So in terms of deployment, it would be deployed across the country. Okay. Uh, this benefit of 25 basis points to your cost structure, you will pass it on. Will it have any impact on the net interest margins? No, no, unlikely because as I explained, you know, we are doing it with a lag effect. We are first getting a lower cost and then passing it on Correct. to the customers. And anyway, we are subjected to an operating uh, you know, spread, spread of 10%.
Okay, Mr. Diliraj, we'll leave it at that. Uh, thanks again for uh, joining in. So because of the refinancing done in an attractive rate of 10%, uh, it will lower their uh, cost structure by nearly 20 to 25 basis points.